Alright, starting the Seal's Chanticore chain. We are actually just going to be doing part one of it, followed by the Sacred Helm, because they're both level... Uh, level... Fuck. Level... Level threes. So we're just going to walk to the quests, as opposed to summoning the hirelings. So we're not even gonna bother fighting these kobolds, we're just gonna run right past them. Ow. We got a rogue uh, gold seal. And I'm, however, not going to use him until the halls of Chantelcor. Wayfinder Dale's simple directional marking on the wall points you to the pipe below. Dale's markings issue a warning: kobolds ahead. Only fifty kobolds. Easier said than done. You guys don't know on the other side of this door is a white priest, so. Intelligence is too low, they are both intelligence runes. I think as the higher level quests progress, the only exception of uh, lower level, like between 9 and 13, uh, or no, 8 and 13, um, Vaughn 3, Jungle of Kyber, and Claw, uh, Last Sand in the Red Fens, those are two normals, automatically, always, because if you guys remember watching the Vixen Life 2 episode where I was doing Jungle of Kyber on hard, I died at the end. So, you open this chest, and kobolds will spawn. You see several kobolds appear from the shadows. It's an ambush. Fuck. Here they come. Go shamans. with a... Oh, where is he? Now, this is where the XP can be really high. casters out first. There's a champion here, apparently. Scepter of Kinetic Lore. 
See, I can use scimitars, sickles, and... Uh... I can use scimitars, sickles, and clubs. That's about it. No ranged weapons, unfortunately. So, no bows. <laughs> Oh, the champ was light. I didn't have him that much now, did Alright. See, the first part of the Shanto core chain is very easy. This might get us to level 7 doing this whole chain. So you got this chain and then the catacombs. I'm waiting till I'm level 7 to do, or level 8 to do Ironstone Inlet, mainly because if you're soloing and you're on a higher difficulty, that quest can be a doozy. Shaman. This must be the blockade Dale mentioned. The Kubals seem very intent on keeping anything from the depth of the world from coming up into their tunnels. There's a shrine here. There's a second one added here. Don't need it really. Collect. Got some two videos. And there's some lag. Perfect. <sighs> Cure serious wounds potion. Lovely. Good. Love healing stuff. Oh, I know why the DM narration didn't trigger. There he is. comes to life, you hear the grinding of several large gears. Yeah, Louie, I like how it says avoid powering the forts like it's serious. Oh, it spawns you if you open the things, the Kenneth Crystal things here. All it spawns is spiders, that's all. One of them occasionally can be a Black Widow, as you guys can see here. And is dead. Right, now we go through the hatch. We have to deal with some undead now. A 
A chill passes through your body as you pick up the barely audible moaning of the unliving. I think we're actually gonna go use that shrine real quick. Cause, uh. My mana's not doing so bad there. But actually, I could just get Kendra to cast more mana for me. Why didn't I think of that? Skeleton coming up here. Just get all this for us. There's no loses here, so. with the XP as you guys can see. So if you go in here, Nash Tooth Kobolds will spawn for some reason. strong enough to bash it down, apparently. Uh, a potion of... This necromancer must be the source of all the undead. Let's get the necromancer. So fun little optional for extra XP. Now we can get the chicks. Bring a radiance. What do we need? Yes, yeah, quest. If you're a beginner, can get confused, co confusing because of the map. Like, I don't understand where I'm supposed to go. It's like. Well, you get the idea. If you're going into the game blind and you don't know where you're going, watch this series. Or any DDO tutorial, please. It will be very useful. <laughs> Next turn is troglodytes.
No shamans though, luckily. Yeah, it's just regular trouble, right? Here. There's another shrine in here, by the way. I'm never gonna use this one, however. Almost done. About half, but. More trog to kill first. Then use the shrine. Why is my phone brightness so low? Moving on. Might notice I didn't rest Kendra. Specifically because... Well, yeah. So, there is a hidden door here. Do not open it, because it will lead to a trap. Just get the valve and go. Literally, that's all you need to do. You can discover the door and open it, but it leads to collectible and a sonic trap. That's about it. So, some more breakables over here. We have our ransack bonus, so as you guys can see, and our conquest bonus. We're almost at the end here. Oh, another trap. I think, was it on Vixen Life 2 episode something where I went to the... I forget which episode it was. It was the one where I went to the Restless Isles. Uh, if you guys remember, I spiked a purple dungeon alert. end. Is really powerful. The echo of dripping water against rock betrays a flooded section of cave up ahead. Oh, there's a classy here. A class here. Where is he? It's right here. Get the glassy first because he. The thing that they're useful for. Is, oh, I got black right there. Black right there. So kill the glasses first because they have they can spawn more offspring. That's the thing that glass spiders do. They are still considered to me like to me they're still considered the most useless mob in the game because of it. They don't attack you. All they do is spawn eggs. All right. The gate will hit. When he comes, the raid boss comes with the raid. You guys remember from Vixen Life 1. Not many of you like that series because of how low quality it is. You 
you hear the sound of heavy footsteps rushing toward you. There you go. Play out those dark six. So Arnold the Gate Warden is dead. There's also a chest down here. Don't think it's locked though. Oh yeah, uh, druids can also use quarter stabs. So I think if I take two-handed fighting at some point, that'll be for quarter stabs. Chose to stay shield uh, and weapon right now because, well, what can you say? But I think especially with the higher level quests, taking a two-handed fighting style weapons is, yeah. Now we go to the end. Actually gonna go grab the chest and then finish the quest. Alright, there you go. Oh actually, that's something I can sell. Thank you, trash. Alright. Twenty-one minutes. And there's caverns of not the Caverns of Shog, Clovenjaw Scourge Blockade. Uh, so next video will be the first two parts of K uh, Tangle Root. Because we're doing level 3s before we do level 4s and so on and so on. I did get the Waterworks parts 3 and 4 out of the way, though. But it chose not to record. So, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Next video we start... Tangle Root Gorge with parts 1 and 2, which are First Strike and the Hobgoblin Captives. That will do it. Till next time, viewers. Peace.